G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today, I'm reading an old newspaper article about a giant serpent sighting in the Mallee Scrub in the 1840s. So we'll get into it. This was published in the Gippsland Times on Wednesday, the 30th of August, 1865, titled The Mindy or Mallee Snake with reference to a paragraph which appeared in its last issue from the pen of a correspondent at Swan Hill relative to a monster snake or serpent seen by two men on the Sandhills run, the Riverine Herald writes as follows. Many years ago, when very old men among the Aborigines belonging to the Mallee countries were alive, the whites were informed by them that it was dangerous to enter that singular scrub in consequence of the great number of large serpents with which it was infested. The serpents were described as being of enormous length and of the thickness of a good sized gum sapling, that is, from 10 to 12 inches in diameter. They were said to have a mane like a horse, enormous jaws and a fatally destructive breath. About the year 1848, the Aborigines took some gentlemen to a place on the Lalbert Run, about 20 miles from the locality, where the men mentioned in the paragraph above alluded to are said lately to have seen such a reptile as that described by the Aborigines, and showed them a heap of bones which they declared belonged to one reptile that had been killed some years previously in the following manner. The serpent had several times been seen by the Aborigines and caused much terror in the tribe in whose country he was found. By the advice of a famous doctor of the tribe, the best and most active hunters were occupied for some time in killing emu and kangaroo and game of a lesser size. And when a large quantity had been scoured, it was laid in a heap in a known hoard of the serpent. The result, as anticipated by the wise man, was that the reptile, on finding such an unexpected quantity of food, completely gorged itself and was thrown into a state of torpidity, whereupon the chiefs and hunters of the tribe struck an innumerable lot of spears into him, pinning him to the ground. Then they collected a quantity of dead timber and other combustible matter close around him to which they set fire and like prudent persons retired to a distance of some miles. Notwithstanding, however, the space of country that had been placed between them and their victim, such was its size and weight and strength that the lashings of its tail on the ground in its ag agonies could be distinctly heard. As much of this may be believed as our readers pleased, true it is, however, that the spinal vertebrae of this reptile, when put together many years afterwards, measured 21 feet, and it was evident that many of the bones were missing. That they belong to one reptile, we have been assured by the parties who put them together and measured them. At various times, very large snakes have been seen in the Mallee. We have heard from one person that he saw one which could have measured less than 15 feet, and which the Aborigines who were with him at the time declared it to be a veritable Mindy, but it had no mane. A squatter on the Lower Murray, in riding through the Mallee, a few miles from where the two men saw the enormous monster described by our correspondent, met a snake which reared itself up to the same height as his horse's head, and from the strike of which he states that he had a very narrow escape. Other white men have, at various times, seen extraordinary large reptiles in the same quarter and there can be no doubt that an un unusual sized snake does exist whose habitat is the Mallee scrub, 
but like the famous bunyip, it manages to keep itself very much out of sight. The end. Well, that's uh, pretty amazing, the size of these snakes get to. Um, so they're describing the Mindy as um, it gets to enormous length and its uh, thickness is of a good sized gum sapling about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. And then they're saying it's got a mane like a horse, which is really weird and strange, enormous jaws and a fatally destructive breath. And I'm just wondering what the breath was, whether it was like bringing disease or poison or something, because um, Mindy in Aboriginal mythology apparently means a creature in the form of a huge snake that brings disease. And then so the, the, the uh, vertebrae that they found of the um, bones of the snake measured 21 feet and it was evident that some bones were missing. So like it was obviously a lot longer than 20 feet. And then another bloke's come across one and it's raised its head to the height of a horse and went to strike at him and the horse, which is crazy. Okay, so it could be a scrub python and um, they've been reported to be up to five, me eight metres in length, but um, they're not 100% sure on that. They reckon that the Guinness Book of uh, Records has measured one at 7.2 metres, but the usual adult specimens only greater around two to four metres. So I believe the 7.2 metre one, 23 feet, was like the largest one probably found. And then we've got two other snakes that I wanted to mention as well. They're both extinct uh, megafauna snakes. And one of them's known as the Wanabi. And it was a five to six metre long snake, which is like 16 to 20 feet, but it's now extinct. And then there's the biggest one, which is the Bluff Downs Giant Python, which is supposed to be extinct. And it's estimated to have grown to 10 metres or 33 feet. And it's the longest snake ever recorded, but it's extinct now. But like, did they, was, is this Mindy with the mane and the huge head and the destructive breath? Um, is this like the giant python? Cause this had a huge head as well, or is it something else altogether? Okay, that's it from me. I'll get back to this all next time. Bye.